Good morning. I just took my earplugs out. I sleep with earplugs every single night, especially because I am right by the road and it is so noisy out there. So I'm going to take you with me on my whole entire day today. And first I'm gonna get up, make my bed. I always make my bed. When I get up, I need everything to be nice and neat and clean. And I sleep with my electric blanket. I turn it on as soon as I get into bed. So it's nice and cozy. And then I turn it off because I end up sweating in the middle of the night. And oh, my pillow, you guys. This is the best pillow in the world. I will show you. This is my sleep and glow pillow. And I cannot sleep without this now. It is the best thing for a stiff neck or any kind of neck problems and eyelash extensions because it has this area where you can put your head and I love it so much. It's an orthopedic pillow. So when you're sleeping, your face is like this and your eyelashes don't get squashed in the pillow and your face doesn't get all wrinkled. So it's an anti-aging pillow. So if you guys are looking for the best night's sleep, I totally recommend this pillow. I've been using it for, mm, I think almost a year now and I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm getting up, making the bed, and I'm starving, so I'm gonna go eat. This is steel cut oats, rolled oats, chia seeds, and a teaspoon of almond butter, and a little bit of organic maple syrup, like just a splash. And then I cut up fresh pineapple, and I will have uh, like a handful of that for breakfast. So I have not eaten in 17, yes, 17 hours. And I do intermittent fasting even before I knew what it was. Um, I didn't know it was actually a thing that people do to um, lose or maintain their weight or be healthier, but it's just naturally what I feel is right for my body and what feels good. So I've had not one bite of food for 17 hours. And the next thing that I do is I make a protein shake. I use this organic rice protein and I do two heaping tablespoons. And this organic PB fit powder, this is um, 70 calories for two tablespoons, but it has a lot of protein in it, um, a lot less than actual peanut butter. Nothing wrong with healthy fats, but I do eat a lot of healthy fat, so I don't need that extra fat. So I do a heaping ta ooh, tablespoon of the PB fit powder and some organic cinnamon. Sprinkle that in there. And they didn't have any of my organic unsweetened vanilla almond milk because of the um, pandemic that's going on right now. It's really hard to find the exact foods that I normally eat, but I'm just replacing that with this um, Blue Diamond Almond Breeze unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And that is my morning shake. And I will use this to take my morning supplements. And I've been taking um, this Echinacea with Golden Seal to get uh, to boost my immune system. And I take two in the morning and two at night. 
and then just my normal supplements. I actually did a whole video on um, what I take for supplements and some of you have been asking about if I take anything for menopause or anything like that. Um, I am 51, but I haven't menstruated since 2005, so I really don't know where I am in my um, menopause cycle. Um, I have dealt with some hot flashes and they were really bad at one time, but I almost think that was because of my thyroid. I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis and I take medication every day for that. It's a compounded medication that my pharmacist actually makes for me with the T3, T4, and a vegetable capsule. So there is no dyes, fillers, or anything like that that was making me so, so sick from my medication. So, so grateful that is all under control now. But I really think that's when I was getting my worst hot flashes is before my Hashimoto's was diagnosed and was under control. So now I get a few hot flashes here and there, but that is really the only menopausal symptom that I've been getting and I do take some supplements for that. I will link that video down below if you wanna see everything I take. I keep them all organized in my little pill organizers. This is B6 and B12 because I eat vegan, so definitely need that. I also wanted to mention that if you wanted to try the intermittent, intermittent fasting, it does not matter what time of day you decide. Like my sleeping cycle is completely backwards. It doesn't matter um, if you stop eating at say five o'clock at night and dinner is your last meal, or if you stop eating at 11 o'clock at night. It, it just, you have to go like 14 to 16 hours for a really good intermittent fast. You could try starting with like 12 hours, um, but it does, all that matters is that time span. It doesn't matter when you start it or stop it depending on your cycle. I mean, some people work third shift. I kind of, my cycle got into the habit of working that third shift. When things change in my life, my sleep cycle kinds of changes along with that. But right now, I'm pretty much staying up all night. I went to bed at seven this morning. I was working until seven this morning and I slept for um, nine hours. I was really tired. And now I'm just getting up now and eating and it is afternoon time. So I just ran down to check all my packages and because of the coronavirus, I opened all my packages outside, disinfect everything and throw the packaging right away. Let's see what I got to do a little unboxing. Got some makeup. Revlon Color Stay Powder. And then I made this out of um, rubbing alcohol, 70% alcohol, antibacterial dish soap, and some essential oils. And I spray everything that comes into the house with alcohol. So I have like a hallway at the bottom of my apartment. So that's where I'm doing all of this. What is this? Ooh my crimper. I'm going to do a video on this for you guys. This is Massive Shine Wave Artist Bed Head and I'm going to style my hair with this. I'm so excited and I will show you guys how I do it. Not today probably but I'll do like a whole separate video on it. got a Walmart delivery. That stuff was from Amazon.
a thermometer. I did not have one in the house, so I just wanted to make sure that I was able to check my temperature if I needed to. So it's definitely good to have. I have not been able to find a thermometer anywhere. I've tried on the um, at the grocery store, at the pharmacy, on Amazon, and I did end up getting this one from Walmart. And I got this Neutrogena Protect and Tint Tinted Moisturizer. One of you guys recommended this to me and said that it was comparable to the It Cosmetics CC Cream, Your Skin But Better. So I'm gonna do another video um, testing this out and see how I like this. So I'm trying to decide if I want to go for a walk outside or on the treadmill. I'm going to do the LED mask first. And it depends if I do this in the morning or at night. This is my LED mask and the red light is for collagen production. This is my favorite anti-aging device. And I've been using this for about two years now. And just turn it on, turn it all the way up. And I do 15 minutes on the red light. And I just chill out here. This is a perfect time just to decompress, chill out, relax. We all have to take at least a little time during the day to just breathe and relax, and this is a perfect time to do it. Um, so after 15 minutes of the red light, if my skin seems like I'm having any breakouts, I will do 10 minutes on the blue light, and then I'll alternate with like 10 minutes on the green light for melasma and dark spots. So I decided I'm gonna get some editing done before I walk. This is um, <clears throat> vitamin water zero. And I just put in like a tiny bit, like an inch of it and the rest is seltzer water. My favorite is the grapefruit seltzer, but any seltzer water. And I drink like five of these a day. The bubbles like help my stomach kind of be calm and feel good and it helps me be able to drink a lot more liquids. I also drink um, tea, which I'll probably drink later on. So I'm gonna work on the couch today because I got a new um, MacBook Pro and I was working on a PC, so I had to switch everything over from my PC to my MacBook Pro. And when I did that, my big monitor over at my desk isn't connecting. I'll show you later, because I really want to get this um, posted for you guys before it gets too late today. Um, but I'll show you when I hook up the big monitor at my desk to the MacBook Pro, it keeps blinking in and out. but. After I get this edited and posted, I will show you my whole setup and maybe you guys can help me figure out what is going on. So during the day, I am doing three things for work. I am um, planning videos, I am editing videos, and I am filming videos. So there's a, so much that goes into it. And someone had left a comment, um, oh, why don't you post more? And you have no idea how much goes in to posting a video. Um, depending on what kind of video I'm posting, it could take like two, three days to get one video done. It's taking all of the, finding all the links for you guys to directly click on, um, planning, filming, editing. If there's any like problems and I have to refilm, it's just, a very long process. I love it so much. I wish I could post more videos for you guys, but I literally would, this would be my life. I would just be glued to the computer 24 seven, which I pretty much am. 
but it really is so much fun and but a lot a lot a lot of work and I am so grateful that I get to stay home and do what I love and that is my work. Um, a lot of you have also asked, what do you do for work? This is it. This is, I am doing social media marketing. I am posting videos for you guys. I post on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I also just opened up an account on TikTok, which is so much fun. I will show you guys a couple of videos that I've done here. I am just having a blast and it's completely different from any other social media that I've been doing and I'm just having so much fun. I also have to make sure that I leave time for um, answering emails, which my inbox is like completely full all the time and that is like a total job in itself. Also answering your comments, that is insanely time consuming, but it's so important to me that I can read your comments and interact with you guys, but really that is like a full-time job in itself. That's why I can't get to everyone's comments and I try to do that first thing when I wake up when I'm laying in bed and right before I go to sleep so that I make sure to keep up with interacting with you guys, which I love. Thank you all so much for your support and all of your beautiful comments that you leave. It just makes me feel so good and strong and that I'm making a difference and I really feel like this is what I was meant to do in life and this is how I give back to the world and to you guys and it comes back to me a million fold from all of your support and your beautiful comments and I honestly cannot thank you guys enough. You are all amazing. You are like part of my life. You're not just people who follow me or subscribe to my channel. I think about you guys and things that you say when you reach out to me and talk to me, it touches me and it helps me be able to give back to you guys and to be vulnerable and to know that it's making a difference. So thank you. I just made a piece of Ezekiel bread. This is flourless sprouted green bread. And I'm gonna put some organic peanut butter. And a little bit of organic raw unfiltered honey. I do eat vegan, but this is the only, um, I guess, animal product you would call it that I eat is honey. Otherwise, I don't eat any animal products at all. That is delicious. I usually add banana. I wasn't going to because they're kind of green, but I'm gonna go ahead and add it after I already took a bite of my bread. And yeah, they're kind of a little bit hard. I like my bananas more ripe, but this will do. This is like a great snack. Now we're talking. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write a story. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish I could have filmed every moment of the walk I just went on. I just want to show you how incredible your life can change and the energy that you bring in when you have a positive energy and love flowing out of you. I am so blessed right now that we are on social distancing right now. However, we can go outside and everybody is being so amazing. They are staying away from each other. Like as I'm walking, people see each other coming and we go the other way. So we're nowhere near each other and everyone is respecting that. 
if you can't get outside, I urge you, open your windows, get some fresh air, blast your favorite music, dance around, be crazy, let that energy out, feel, get that love flowing and that positive energy flowing. Getting outside today was amazing. I just started walking and I actually brought a package with me that I had been meaning to return for a month now since I've been inside my house. And I've been scared to go into the UPS store to drop it off. I just didn't want to be around the germs. So today I brought everything with me. I have my mask with me. I have my alcohol wipes. I have everything I needed to go in there and to be safe. But I still didn't want to, but I was just like, I'm gonna be positive, I'm gonna be safe, I'm just gonna go drop off the package. So I started walking up the road and I'm like, my music is blaring. I've got my, my earbuds blaring with my favorite music. I'm just bopping along, holding my package. I see the UPS guy coming towards me and he waves to me and I held up the package and I'm like, hey! He turned around for me, you guys. He looped around, he pulled into the um, driveway right behind me. I handed him the package. I was like, thank you so much. I was so grateful for that. So that just like made my day right there. So I kept walking, I had the music blaring just in my own little world. So I loop around the block and I start coming up by the cemetery. And the song was playing, um, If It's Meant To Be, It Will Be. That's one of my favorite songs and my granddaughter and I rock out to that song all the time. So that's, the song starts playing, an eagle, a giant eagle comes right I swear, it felt like 20 feet away from me. I was just in awe of it and I just smiled and I put my hands up and I just looked up and smiled and I felt so much love and so much joy inside of myself. And I literally was like in awe and getting teary eyed. Part of me felt like it was my dad. My dad passed away almost four years ago of cancer. That's all I could feel is like, he's with me. He's like, he's here and I turned around, so now I'm walking backwards, like slowly walking backwards, this huge smile on my face, just like looking up at this eagle that's just like circling. And then I noticed I'm backing up traffic, not because I'm in anyone's way, because I know people felt my energy. And that's what I'm trying to say is we're all connected. We are all connected with that energy. And when you put out that positivity and that beautiful energy, everyone feels it. No one noticed me on the whole walk around the block. Well, except for the UPS guy that I was like waving my package to until my whole energy shifted. And I was just looking up and I felt almost like in a different world. I don't know how else to explain it, but that I could feel that positive love and energy radiating out as I'm looking up at that eagle and my whole mind is shifting. There was a guy on a motorcycle, like almost like went off the road. There are cars going by who are like stopping to look at me. It was insane. I literally was not doing anything except for slowly walking backwards. There was no reason for anyone to be looking at me. I'm telling you, it was the energy I was radiating. That eagle and I were connecting. I was putting off that energy to the world. Some of you might think I'm nuts, but a lot of you, I know you know what I'm talking about. Share that energy, share that love. I'm just sitting out here right now. Got the, the river in the background and the wind and the sun, and it's just so beautiful. I love you guys. I'm back home. I'm gonna show you what's going on with my computer. I'm really hoping that one of you or someone you know knows what the heck is going on. So I have this monitor right here. It's, I don't even know what that says. Uh, something OC. And it's just a regular monitor and I have it connected with this cord and my laptop is connected. So this is my PC laptop, it's an Acer. I have no problem. You can see what you can see on the small screen, you can see on the big screen. 
it's perfect. There's no issues. I can use this perfectly, okay? There's no flickering on this. It's beautiful. But this PC is a hunk of junk. So I purchased a new computer and I got a MacBook Pro, which is this one. So when I try to hook up my MacBook Pro, I have to use this um, extender because there is no other way for me to hook it up. So I can use my SD card in here and I've got other ports. And right here is where I can hook up the cord to the big monitor. So I can sit at my desk and I can work and I can see without having to strain my eyes and wear my glasses. Okay, so it just plugged in. Okay, here we go. Do you see it flickering? Can you see that? It's shaking, it's flickering. See that? And it will just start blacking out. I obviously cannot work when my screen is flickering like that. And it only happens when I hook up my MacBook Pro. The PC is perfect. I have no problems at all. This is flickering. This is, you can't even look at this. Like it gets me dizzy and it actually will completely black out at times if I sit here long enough. So if you guys have any idea what the heck is going on, please let me know or please ask anyone that you know that's in IT who's maybe um, would have any idea about a MacBook Pro and this monitor. Why is it doing this? Driving me crazy. So now I have to sit on the couch with my computer way up close to me so I can see what the heck I'm doing and I can't use my big monitor anymore and I really don't want to invest in another monitor that is compatible with my MacBook Pro when I already have this monitor. So if you guys can think of any reason that this would be happening or any way to fix this. Um, I also, just to let you know, I did try using a brand new cord and that didn't make any difference at all. So I have no idea. Actually, I am looking in the background I don't think I ever showed you guys this. YouTube sends these out for passing 100,000 subscribers. And this is it. Thanks to you guys. You guys are amazing. I would not have this if it wasn't for you guys. It means so much to me. I keep it right next to me on this desk when I'm working and I can see it when I'm walking through my house and this is for you guys. This isn't for me. This is for you guys. You are amazing. And yeah, thank you guys. I'm going to make some asparagus and I'm just taking this chopped garlic because I'm too lazy to cut it up myself. And I just put like a teaspoon in there and some Celtic sea salt. Sprinkle that in there. And I've just got about an inch of water. So I'm gonna take the asparagus. And go. This is like two servings. So the rest of it, I put it back in the refrigerator. And to keep it fresh, I use some water in a measuring cup and then I take just some plastic wrap and just lightly cover that and put this back in the refrigerator. Then I'm just waiting for this water to start boiling. I don't know what happened to this one. It lost the top. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm just gonna cut the bottom off like about right there. This 
so it's nice and fresh. I've got the bottoms cut off. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm gonna have some cucumbers with hummus and just dip it in the hummus. I never really sit down to eat, so I'm kind of just standing up, eating on the go. Okay, so the water started boiling and I'm just gonna put these in like single, a single layer. And I'm gonna leave this for about four to five minutes. And now I'm going to strain the water out. And then put some cold water to stop them from cooking. I'm gonna put some ice cubes in there. And they are ready. Then I'm just gonna sprinkle some Celtic sea salt. And that is all I put on them and they are delicious. Now I've got some baby spinach that I chopped up. And I'm gonna use a tablespoon of ground flaxseed. And a tablespoon of hemp seeds. some just plain raisins. And a half of an avocado. And to make the dressing, I just use plain balsamic vinegar. This is a project that I'm working on right now. So I have these paper shades in my bedroom like that, but I live right on the street and it is so, hear that? Crazy noisy. You can hear the cars like they're in my room. So I got this um, foam. It's like sticky on the other side and I put it up against the window and went all the way down to the floor. So I think it's working because I can't hear it out this window, only on the other window. So I'm gonna do it on all three of these windows. And if it works really good, I'm gonna do it in my beauty room where I film because you can constantly hear the cars in the background. So wish me luck. Okay, I got all three of them up and it's definitely helping the noise. I just heard a car go by and it was definitely muffled, yay! <laughs> the noise is definitely muffled, um, not gone, but so much better. So if you guys are having a noise problem, this works. So I tested out this um, Neutrogena Protect and Tint that I got in the mail today. When I went for a walk, that's what I have on my skin right now. And I put a little bit of bronzer on. That's all I have on my face. And look what happened. 
Can you see this peeling? Hopefully you can see that in the camera. My skin is like peeling off right now. And I do use hydroquinone and Retin-A and get shedding like that, but this just clung to every piece of dry skin. And when I normally use the um, IT Cosmetics CC Cream, Your Skin But Better, it never flakes like that. So I would say this is a fail. I'm gonna definitely try it one more time and slough all this skin off and I will try it again tomorrow and see if it works. But right now it is a total fail. I also feel like it's way thinner consistency than the IT Cosmetics. Um, I do not feel that they are comparable at all as of now, but I will keep you guys updated in future videos. I am putting this hydrating mask on my face right now. This is like my favorite mask ever. It's the Zion Health Mango Shea Clay Mask, and it is super hydrating. It'll help get rid of all of the shedding and the dry skin I have. And I'm going to go hop in the shower. I'm just gonna get some laundry done. I know I'm such a weirdo. I do my laundry like late at night. It's about, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 12.30. So I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry and I'm gonna start editing again and that is it for the night you guys i hope you like this video i will link below my skincare routine that i do for nighttime i have a whole video on that so let me know if you like this kind of video i feel like it might be kind of boring to some people but a lot of you have been asking what do you do during the day what do you do for work so this is it. This is how um, I work from home and what I do. I film, I edit, I plan, um, I take care of myself and do like home stuff like everybody else. I hope everyone is happy and staying healthy. I hope this video brought a smile to your face. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all of the videos that I upload. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye.